coming into boondocking land here on Lake Amistad National Recreation Area. And we're going to the San Pedro unit or San Pedro unit, depending on where you're from. Yeah, it's a nice day, man. Right now it shows 72 degrees, 1030 in the morning. And uh, we're going to go find us a spot. I hope. Yeah, this little road that goes in there is, is uh, caliche or gravel, what do you want to call it? And if you go s slow, the dust is not too bad. But if you speed, you're going to dust out everybody. So just be aware of that. It, it, to me, I like this. I mean, a lot of people don't like this because all it is is brush and, and thorny stuff. And uh, I don't It's It's... Uh, but the good thing about this unit, they've got they've got 277 North Campground, and they've got Governor's Landing Campground. That's three I know of, <clears throat> and there's more. But Governor's Landing is right by Highway 90, so you hear a lot of road noise. Uh, 277 North is uh, close to Highway 277, and uh, yeah, you, you get a uh, little road noise there also. But here. Uh, you got a good cell phone, well, all three of them have good cell phone reception for Verizon, for sure. And, uh, yeah, uh, this one's far enough off of Highway 90 that it's fairly quiet most of the time. I've never had, I've never had any noise issues camping here, ever. And I've been here, God, I don't know, a dozen times. Yeah, as long as you're not in a hurry, uh, this old gravel road's not bad. I'm not sure. It's probably, a, I'm guessing, a good mile into the campground. It's not that far. It's just you can't, well, you shouldn't go very fast. And it's a circle. It's a loop. You, you go kind of hang to the right here, and it, there's a Y, but if you go on in, it makes a big loop and comes back out. <clears throat> I'm hoping it's not too busy, but you know, this is a uh, holiday weekend. I, what is it? I don't know what holiday it is. It's something. This is, set, excuse me, October the 7th, 2023 at 10.30 a.m. Yeah, it shows the speed limit at 15. If you kind of hang with that, you're okay. There's some campsites up here on the right that, you know, if you go blow and by them, you can dust them out. So just put yourself in their shoes. You wouldn't want to sit there and eat a dust sandwich. be interesting to see how many people are here. There's no hookups of any kind. They don't have water, nothing. They got a, a vault toilet and a dumpster and a pay station. The good news is uh, it's $6 a night if you don't have the senior federal pass. It's 50% off if you do, $3 a night. See, I did that math all by myself. That road here to the right goes to a group campground you can reserve that and on a weekend like this somebody may have reserved it because it'd be a good place to have a party it says uh oh it says campsite temporarily closed monarch 
butterfly roosting area. All right, well, yeah, the monarchs come through here on their way to Mexico. They do that. A couple of campsites there. What's there to do here? Nothing. Not a thing. And I'm damn good at it. I'm about as good at doing nothing as anybody on this planet. But doing nothing to me is like taking a walk, reading a book, whatever. Oh, there's where the group site is down there. So they just had that one campsite blocked because the monarchs were roosting there. I did, butterflies roost. Never thought about that. They're a big butterfly, though. I'm amazed that they can travel, what, 10,000 miles? They go to somewhere in southern New Mexico or Mexico. It says tent camping only, but I don't think anybody enforces it. I've seen 40-foot RVs here. Well, it looks like my favorite campsite's open, which is this one right here. So we're going to pull in here. The only downside of this one, it doesn't have a cover. And then I have to ask myself, do I need a cover? And the answer is going to come out, no. So let's see how level it is. See, I got my own trash can, and it's out of the way. All the other campsites, I'll show you, they're all up in there. And there's not a soul here. <laughs> I thought there'd be somebody here. I was worried about getting a spot. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, the temperature is good. I got to see if I can get this thing level is what I got to worry about. Okay, now the sun is going to set to the right, to my right. And uh, that's all right, I got an awning. Let's get on back here off the road a little bit. This site is pretty level as I recall. There's some big old bowlers back here. I don't want to back over. But anyway, let me check and see my, my level here. I mean, if it's close, I'm good. You know, half a bubble off, I'm fine. Because I'm half a bubble off myself. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, we're good. We're spot on. Man. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, guys, from the boondocking area at Del Rio Amistad National Recreation Area on a Saturday morning, late morning. I'm glad, man. I, I did this and I'm pleased. Now, now we're going to check out, we're going to see how well this thing does with solar and nothing else. Anyway, guys, enjoy your life. And we'll do some more. I'll do some more stuff. But yeah, I'm glad I'm here, man. Ain't nobody here. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.